So this is the Datsun 240Z. It was launched in 1969 for the 1970 model year. If its design looks familiar, that's because it's said to be inspired by the Jaguar E-Type, a car that Enzo Ferrari described as the most beautiful in the world. But it, unlike the Jaguar E-Type, this offered Japanese reliability, and it was also quite affordable. So in the years following its launch, it really proved what the Nissan engineers set out to do by winning a bunch of important races. It won the East African Safari Rally in 1971, and Paul Newman even drove this car in the late 70s, drove a later version, and won several races. Throughout the 1970s and 1980s, Nissan kept making improvements to the Z, adding bigger engines, more luxury and comfort features, and cool things like turbos, T-tops, and pop-up headlights. That all culminated in the late 80s, with Nissan raising the bar again with this, the 300ZX. This was a highly advanced car for its time. It was one of the first cars ever designed using CAD on a Cray 2 supercomputer, and it could actually give Porsches and Corvettes a run for their money. It had a twin-turbo V6 under the hood and made 300 horsepower. And for a fun fact, these headlights actually ended up in the 2000 Lamborghini Diablo VT 6-liter. After a six-year gap, the Z was back as the 350Z. This had a 3.5-liter naturally aspirated V6, making almost 300 horsepower. And that eventually evolved into the 370Z, which made up to 355 horsepower and had a shorter wheelbase. And that car stayed in production until just a couple of years ago. And now we have the 2023 Nissan Z. The 2023 Nissan Z combines everything that Nissan has learned in the last 50 years, from Z cars, from the GTR, and from decades of motorsport, but modernizes it with modern design elements like the Katana Slash roofline, the contrasting black roof, and the twin turbo V6. If you like this video, check out our other videos of the interior and exterior of the new Z, plus our driving impressions.